Hey there guys, let's make a little overview on the section number three, property methods. And we're going to cover mostly three subsections. Property method, what is it? Why do we need it? And how can we select the best ones for our uh, processes? Then we get to dive into parameters, which is the second subsection. What are pure components? What's the difference between parameter and data? And so on. And then we check out subsection number three, which is model calculation. The difference between model, method, and how we can check the routes, okay? Let me give a little bit overview here. So we need to understand what does a property method calculates? How does it calculate? Understand the ideal versus activity versus equation of states. Also, we need to study the maybe the theoretical concepts behind equilibrium, but not only that. Why do we need to use activity coefficient? How do we define equilibrium? Fugacity vapor equals fugacity liquid. Are we going to use activities? Are we going to use fugacities, etc.? We check out also the Van Laar, Wilson, NRTL, Uniquack, Unifac models for activity. And for equation of state, we're going to check out the Peng Robinson, Lee Kessler, Puckler, and the SRK, which is Schwaber Radlich Quang equations. Finally, we un try to understand the importance of the selection of these methods. Right now, it's theoretically. And um, further sections, we're going to check out how can we model data and how can we select the different uh, methods. Of course, it's easy to say that you should use this one when you choose water and ethanol, but data is sometimes, or experimental data is much better to compare with because sometimes the model says one thing and you feed it into your model or your experimental data and it doesn't work. So it's very important to know that not always the guidelines or the thumb rules are going to work. Let me check out what we have here. Okay, we dive into parameters. We're going to see some examples how to retrieve component parameters, how to clear component parameters if you are using a simulation you might want to erase all the parameters in order to recalculate it. We're going to see how can we uh, can calculate binary parameters via the property constant estimation system. I know it sounds kind of fancy, but it's not that huge of a deal. We're going to see also how to state a Henry component. Why do we need to state them? And a workshop related on that as well. And finally, as stated before, method versus models, what is a what type of properties are present, the method routes, how can we change those paths of calculations? Why does it have for default, let's say, why does this model calculate these? Because of that. So understand more or less why do we have uh, these routes. And at the end of the course, sorry, of this section, we see how can we modify one method in order for us to, let's say if we have a fennel water system and we really know that we're going to use high pressures, yet we know they will be very uh, let's say real solutions. Well, how can we model this as Peng Robinson and maybe add a liquid model as well? And maybe you want to use correction factors, you can use it. We want to calculate all these things, we are going to do it, I'll do them on the last workshop, okay? So that's everything for this section. Bear with me, I know it's a little bit, well, not a little bit, it's pretty, a lot of theory, a lot of concepts, very abstract concepts. Fugacity is one of my favorites. It's very difficult to define, yet it's easy to calculate, but to define it in real life is so like abstract, like entropy. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this section. I see you in the next lecture.